it is Crystal Palace new Manchester United new Manchester United fucking up the week for us oh bloody hell man ah <sighs> against the uh, Eagles Manchester United struggled to get a goal struggled to get anything and leave with a point that's you know what it's not that bad but at the same time, it's bad because you know what? We wanted to see Manchester United win three came on the bounce and they failed to do so. A lot of things cost us. Our manager with his substitution cost us as well because those substitution had zero impact in the game, especially when he took off Joshua Xerxes. And of course, we stopped being able to hold up the ball from up front and then bring on Marcus Rashford. Everything went collapse. The substitution wasn't great. Ted Hogg, you kind of messed up there. You really messed up there with the substitution. I was against your starting lineup, especially the double pivot, when I saw Kobe Mainu and, of course, Ericsson in midfield. I said to myself, we're going to get eaten up. We're going to get lapped top by Crystal Palace through the middle like, half na like hot knife from butter. But it wasn't like that. It didn't turn out like that. We, we started off well. We was all in control of that game, especially in the first half. In the second half as well, where things did go, didn't go our way, but for somehow we could have had up, we had up opportunities in that first half and in that second half. But sadly, Manchester United were unable to convert any opportunities. You had Alejandro Gonacho with opportunities, and he also missed as well. Bruno Fernandes with a chance, Matthias De Ligt with a chance, but again, Manchester United were unable to find the back of the net, unable to open up. Crystal Palace. At times, we were playing fancy, cute football to try and pass the ball the, in the back of the net. But it never worked out. Tactically, we was good. We were set up right. The goal just never came. And it's just sad for us. And we're now we're in the bottom half of the table. We're on page two of the table once again. I enjoyed not flipping to page two. Now we have to. And it didn't even last for that long. But Manchester United... We could have done way better performance wise. And you look at that nil nil full time. Um, look at the players today. Alejandro Granacho, who I thought done okay, but wasn't impactful in terms of converting his opportunities into goal because he had so many opportunities. Yes, he did. Rashford, who came on, had zero impact. Zero impact. Rightly so, he should have been on the bench because if he started today with that particular performance coming on, ah, we would have been super frustrated. Xerxes, I believe, who had a good game, holding his hold-up play was excellent. His his passing as well was excellent. Bringing players into the into play as well was excellent. Just wasn't there when the final third to score a goal, and it was just unfortunate. And you know what? I was uh, happy for him to come off. Because he made a difference. He really did. Bruno Fernandes had a horrible game. He, he just, Fernandes, at times, rash, rushing things as well. Being rash with his passes. And, of course, you got Ericsson, who I thought he had a good game. Spreading passes. When he wins the ball back, first time pass straight to his, play, to his teammates. I just think that, as well, um, he could have done a bit better. We've got to do a little bit more. Man of the match today, I'm going to have to go with Matthias De Ligt because he was excellent. He was solid. He read the ball. He was winning area of jewels. He winning everything in the air. But it is what it is, man. Man United fans, we drew. Let's just move on to the next game. You know, we've got the Europa League campaign starting next week. Hopefully, we can start off brightly and not draw and get three points. Because we've got Tottenham Hotspurs next week, Sunday. We need to get those three points to get back into the top half of the Premier League. Man, Doki in the match, I think I'm going to have to go with Bruno Fernandes. You guys let me know. This has been your match. You guys let me know your thoughts of today's game. Who do you think was your man in the match? Who do you think was your Doki in the match? And I'm tuning tomorrow, I'm, I mean, tune in on Monday, 8 p.m. to catch up so we can discuss this match and any other news regarding Man United. Till next time, guys, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it ready United. Peace.